Welcome to part two in uh, developing our grid trading bot. Uh, in the first video, what we did was we just did the basic uh, development and setting up our code with the a API and the uh, Alpaca web sockets. Uh, in this video, what we'll be doing is we'll be deploying our grid trading bot to our uh, server or uh, cloud service provider. Uh, with that, Today we'll be using uh, Linode, so right here, you're going to have to sign up for an account. Uh, and then once you've done so, you'll have to go to this uh, create button up at the top, hit create, and then Linode. So as done, we'll need to set up um, what, what type of Linode we're going to uh, cr uh, create. Um, Essentially, this is going to be the Linux server that our uh, bot is going to be running on. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Ubuntu. Uh, we're going to go with the 20.04 uh, version, and then we're going to select our region. Uh, select the one that's closest to, to you. Now we're going to go with the uh, shared CPU uh, or the amount of storage space that we are going to use for um, this tutorial. As you can see, we're using the NAND node. So now we're going to enter our uh, password. This is going to be the root password that we're going to use to sign in to our uh, bot. Once we have, or um, to sign into our server and run our bot, essentially. Once that's set up, we're going to create our uh, Linode. So this is going to take a uh, few minutes. This Right now it's just pr provisioning the uh, hardware. Uh, so we can set this up. So I'm probably going to cut the uh, video here and then I will resume once we are uh, once we got that green light. So as you can see we have our uh, Linode or our um, Linux server is uh, running, so what we're going to do is we need to SSH into this uh, s uh, server. Uh, what that means is we're basically going to log in. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this message and then we're going to pop open our terminal. Then we're going to paste that in. Uh, once that is done, you're going to need to type in the uh, root password that you use at the start. So I'm going to type in my password. Once that is done, you should see this message uh, like before. So everything looks good. So now we have our server, but we don't have our uh, code for running our bot. So the way we can do this is we're basically going to uh, get our GitHub repository uh, here for the grid trading bot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, clone this uh, repo into our uh, Linux server. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, well, we first need to, to update. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, sudo apt update. This is going to set up everything that we need. So. It's going to take a few minutes to run. <clears throat> yeah, I might cut this out too. There we go. Once this is, once you see this message, that means that uh, our um, package installer should be ready. So what we need to do now is we need to clone our repository. So we'll do git clone. Then we're going to need to get our URL and then paste that into our uh, command line. Once that is done, we'll just do a quick check and it looks like we have our repository. So now we will need to set up pip, uh, which is the uh, Python uh, package installer uh, for you know separate Python modules. So we will need to do apt install uh, Python 3. Dash pip. And we'll say yay. 
Yes. You should see this message. Uh, that means that it's just being installed, so it's going to take a few minutes to run. go and once this is complete uh, you can now um, set up our WebSocket client and our other uh, de dependencies so now we're going to do a uh, sudo apt or um, sudo pip3 install WebSocket client <clears throat> We're going to be using this to streaming our uh, crypto data, and then we also need to install our um, Alpaca Trading API. Alpaca Trade API, right? This should install all of the necessary libraries that we need. It takes a few minutes, so that we should be good. There we go. Now that that's done, uh, let's just take a look at what we have. So, trading balance. So open up your uh, secret.py file. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna type in nano secret.py. And as you can see here, we have empty strings for our paper API key and our paper secret key. So this is where our um our api keys from our alpaca uh brokerage are going to be in so let's navigate back to our uh broker and then we're going to check out the keys out that, that that we have uh we're going to regenerate some new keys so what we're going to do is we're going to copy these and then we're going to paste them into our um uh, file here So notice how the API key goes where our paper API key variable is, and then our secret key also goes where that same variable is. As you can see, this matches up and it looks good. So now you'll hit Control X to to exit, and then press Yes or uh, press Y to save, and then hit en enter to save it to our secret.py file. Once that is done, we're going to type in python grid bot, oh, python3 grid bot, and what this will do is it should spit out this message. Uh, this shows that we have connected to the server. Uh, we've been authenticated and we're subscribing to ethereum bar data and then after that it will show our uh, total um, amount of money that we have in our account as well as the position size that we are going to buy and our first purchase of uh, 0.22 ethereum at the price of 1085 so let's check back to our uh, broker and as you can see, we just did a market buy of 0.22 shares at an average cost of 1,086. So this is how you would uh, deploy your uh, grid trading bot to a Linode server. Uh, thank you for watching. In the next video, what we'll be doing is I'll be showing the uh, results of this uh, bot. I'm going to leave this thing running for... Uh, a brief uh, moment of time, either a couple weeks or a month, we'll see. And then uh, I will display the results in the ne next video. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.